Hey everyone, it's Selene here. So this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download your fonts once you've made your purchase. So this example I'm using uh, November 2015's Fontabulous Font Bundle. If you haven't checked it out, please go check it out. It has over 70 fonts at a great price of $29. Check out my discount code. I also include that in the description below and you'll get 20% off on top of the $29. So you'll get it under $25 which is really awesome. So this is going to be pretty quick, but once you make your purchase, you are going to get some links. It'll take you to another page with links. If for some reason you miss that, check your web your uh, email because you should get an email with the links as well. Um, I do have to point out that these fonts, once you make your purchase, they are yours forever. It's not just for the duration of the month. They are yours forever. Not only that, you have unlimited downloads. So if you want to download on your PC at home, if you want to download on your computer at work, on your laptop, on your iPad, uh, you do have to have a, an app for that. But you have unlimited downloads, which is awesome. So just wanted to put that out there. But once you get your links, you're going to click on the links, and, and I unfortunately can't show you that step because I've already done that part, but you're going to click on your links, and then they're going to load, the um, file is going to open up, whether it's going to be at the bottom of your screen, you're going to click on the folder to open it up. And once you open it up, it's going to look a little different than mine because I've already extracted mine, but they're going to be, it's going to be a zipped file file that has your Mac files, if you're working on a Mac, your quick install, which I'll explain what that is, all fonts, and documentation. And so what you're going to do is you're going to click on extract. And you know what, I can show you that. I forgot that if I go to my downloads, I'll be able to show you what it looks like. So your folder might look a little bit different, but you're going to have somewhere that shows extract or extract all. You're going to click on extract. Okay, that's different. Okay, so there's this extract all. It's going to bring up this folder and it's going to ask you where you want to select or want to save your files. So it's going to probably automatically default somewhere. Click on browse so that you remember where to save it. Choose a folder, and I have a Hungry JPEG folder. And then you can create, I, I save all of my font bundles by name. So you can go ahead and create a folder with the font bundles name. Once you create that folder, click on it. See how I already have them in there. But we'll say that this is the folder that we're going with. Then you're going to select the folder. And then it automatically puts that file uh, location there. And then you're going to extract. Okay. Once you extract it, go to that folder that you just saved, and they're all right here, okay? But then you're not done. So this is where it comes down to actually installing. So now you have the file unzipped. You have all your folders there. Now you're going to go through and download the ones you need or want. So the first one, I'm not going to talk about Mac because I don't work on a Mac. If you have questions regarding Mac on how to download or anything with Mac, please reach out to The Hungry JPEG. They can be reached at hello at thehungryjpeg.com, and I'll leave that email information down below as well. They're really great with um, answering your questions. Another thing, when you purchase bundles from The Hungry JPEG, there is unlimited support. So you'll always have your questions answered, okay? So quick install, I'm going to click on that, double click on that. There are all your fonts, okay, every single one. Now, usually before I knew that I could do this, I would click, click on this one, install. Click on the next one, install. With the quick install, it's all the fonts only because some of the bundles will include graphics, vector different things but this particular folder just holds all of your fonts okay so what you can do this is the quick install you can um, either highlight the very first one 
and then hold your shift key down and click on the last one and it selects them all. Or another shortcut is Control A, which selects them all. Once they're all highlighted, right click on any of them. I usually just do the top one. Right click and there's install. When you click install, it's going to install all of them within seconds. And then you're done with your fonts. But do not forget about this folder. This folder here will have a folder with each font. Now, if you look at the documentation that's included, which I will cover in another video, some of the fonts will include other stuff. So you don't want to miss out on that. So I would click on each font or look at the documentation so that you know that there's other files out there, whether it be clip art, um, whatever it may be and check that out that way. But for now, you have all of your fonts downloaded. Be sure that when you download your fonts, either you sign out of Design Space or have it closed out and then open up Design Space, or if you have it open, you forgot to close it out and you downloaded your fonts, just refresh your page or sign out of it and sign back in. Because if you don't refresh your page, after you've downloaded your fonts, you will not see them in your font drop list. So a lot of people have um, downloaded their stuff and are not able to see it. Just do a refresh or close out your page, open up Design Space back up again, and then you'll be able to find them. If you do come across any errors of any of your fonts that do not download, and the reason why I'm pointing this out is because there's been a couple of questions on. Merry Christmas. The Merry Christmas one, I believe there's a couple of them that come up with an error. What you do is just go back to your folder. Oops, wrong one. You're going to go back to the all fonts and then pull up that particular one that you had an error with. And I think it was initial lowercase, it'll, it'll show you the name of which one was an error. Just go back and download the TTF file because the ones that are included on the uh, quick install are going to be the OTF which is open type file or open type font file. Um, but just try the other one, try the uh, true type file which is TTF and you should be fine. Okay, do you have any other questions? Just leave them in the comment section below, or like I said, you can reach out to hello at thehungryjpeg.com or ask your questions on my Facebook page or in the Facebook group, um, any of the posts that I've posted this bundle, and just ask your questions there and I'll be happy to answer them. So I hope you enjoy your fonts, and please post pictures of your projects that, with the fonts that you've just purchased. Alright, see you in the next video.